Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this example. Okay. So what they have given, they have given this function. Okay. And what we have to do, we have to find residue of this function at its simple poles. That means first of all, we have to find out which are the simple poles. And after that, we have to find its residue, residue if f at that simple poles. Okay. So let me write a given function first. What we have, we have what is the function f of z is z cube upon z minus 1 plus to 4 z minus 2 z minus 3. So it is very simple function. Okay, so easily we can find its poles. So when you have complicated, what is meaning of complicated functions? That means see, uh, we have to find out the value of z where the denominator will be 0. If I put z is equal to 3, denominator will be 0. But if I put z is equal to 3 at numerator, it won't be 0. In some cases, you will get some point where the denominator and numerator, both of them will be 0 simultaneously. In that case, we will get confused. We cannot find directly and we have to go for the definition. Getting? But see here, no need to go for the definition. Uh, we can directly find the poles here. If I put 3, this bracket will be 0, that means denominator will be 0. So z is equal to 3 is a pole. What is its order? 1, since the power is 1. Second pole is 2. Since if I put 2, this bracket will be 0. What will be its order? 1. Third pole is 1. Since if I put 1, 1 minus 1, 0. And what will be its order? Order will be 4. Okay, so let me clearly mention what are the poles with their orders. Okay, so here z is equal to 1 is a pole of order what is its order 4 and z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 are simple poles simple poles means pole of order 1 so what they have asked here we have to find residue compute residue okay only at their simple poles so only at simple poles we have to find residue we will not go for this one z is equal to 1 since its order is 4. These are two simple poles. So I will find residue only at these poles. Let us start to find residue. So residue of f of z. Okay. So what is the point at z is equal to 2? So let me clearly mention the formula. So when you have simple pole, that means pole of order 1, we have a very simple formula to calculate residue limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught f of z same formula i will use here the difference is at a place of z naught we have 2 this is equal to limit z tends to 2 okay z naught is 2 next z minus z naught z naught is 2 and f of z so limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 what is my f of z this is my f of z. Let us put it here as it is z cube upon z minus 1 raised to 4, z minus 2, z minus 3. Will you guess the next task, next step? Obviously, our favorite task. Let us cancel this z minus 2, z minus 2 from both sides, from numerator and denominator. Okay, So this is equal to limit z tends to 2. At numerator, we have z cube and in denominator, we have this z minus 1 raised to 4 and this z minus 3. Okay. So now we have to solve the limit. Solve the limit means what? At a place of z simply, we will put this 2. Let us do that. So here 2 cube, right? Upon 2 minus 1 raised to 4. Here also I will put 2. 2 minus 3. 2 cube is 8. 2 minus 1, 1 raised to 4, 2 minus 3, minus 1, 1 raised to 4, 1 obviously, and this minus is there, so that's why answer will be minus it. So we got the residue of f at z is equal to 2. So we have one more simple pole that is 3. So here we will find the residue at z is equal to 3 also. Make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So let us find residue at z is equal to 3 now. Okay, so let me mention residue of f of z 
at z is equal to 3. So it is a simple fold. So we have this formula to calculate residue. So here z0 is 3. So limit z tends to 3. Our z0 is 3, no? that's why. z minus 3 into f of z. So limit z tends to 3, z minus 3. What is my f of z? That is z cube upon z minus 1 raised to 4, z minus 2, z minus 3. Okay, guess the next step. Our favorite task, cancel this bracket, right? Okay. So this is equal to limit z tends to 3, z cube upon z minus 1 raised to 4, z minus 2. We have to solve the limit. That means simply we have to put z is equal to 3 everywhere, right? So here you will get 3 cube upon 3 minus 1 raised to 4, 3 minus 2. 3 raised to 3, it means 27, okay? 3 minus 1, 2 raised to 4, 16. 3 minus 2, 1. So, the answer is 27 upon 16. That's it. This is required residue. Okay. So, in this way, we found out residue of F at both simple poles 2 and 3. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you in the next video.